All right, y'all. <clears throat> I want to do another. I'm just show you Ron Dalton. This is what I always talk about methodology, man. Uh, and really, we have to go. We have to start over and rebuild our foundation, um, our foundational understanding. And we have to go back and reestablish how do we um, dissect the text? How do we learn how do we what tools are we using what methodologies are we using to get understanding from the text because we've come into this thing we just did a lot of parroting where we're just repeating and regurgitating what we've heard but um in this work because a lot of people don't have a full understanding of the text it's very few people you're going to run into that that can give you can give Israelites problems. There are a few people. Um, nine times out of ten, they're gonna run into an individual that you know they're just gonna listen to what they're saying because not many people read it, which is scary. It's not many people that really delve into the text that are really trying to or have the interest level to understand um, and want to understand. Uh, what the text is saying and then when the text is saying something that you may not like is the is the interest still there do you still want to delve into that or you just want to ignore those parts uh so it's a lot of things that we're dealing with here but i want to show the methodology of ron dalton and why you probably should stop following him uh you know it's 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 pointless it's gonna go nowhere um and it's a simple methodology we're gonna see here this is the art of debating all right it's another art of debating we're gonna see here i'm gonna show y'all this clip let me hear that that oh. narrative easy oh the bible mentions the lions and leopards it mentions that in the bible yeah it mentions like, like uh samson he fought a lion oh a lion and he killed the awesome lion. awesome king david killed a lion mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um mm -hmm. daniel and the lions them lions are apex predators uh so these apex predators they daniel in the lions den where was where was the lions den at what country they were in what nation were they in when daniel was in the lions den have prey in our and where is that located africa we should know what the lions like to eat they like to eat the wildebeest the african buffalo giraffes zebra and th big things like hippopotamus and even small elephants. Hold on, brother Ron. Let me challenge you on that one. Because it also speaks of a, a bear. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So the art of dialogue. Let me challenge you on this one. I see your methodology. You saying that these people are in a particular area where these animals don't exist. Okay, that the Bible speaks of certain animals that don't exist in that area. Well, in Africa, guess what? In, in, in West Africa, there ain't no bears. It says some, some you know, they, uh, talking about the prophet, and some bears came out. What about the bears, Ron Dalton? Watch the response. See, and see, that's how you come at someone's method. I understand your methodology. It's the animals that the Bible speaks of. Okay, got you. Got you. Now, can that methodology hold throughout the text? Well, now we have some other animals. We have some bears. What do we do with the bears? There ain't no bears in, in this part of Africa. Let me pull it back, son. Of a, a bear, mm -hmm. right? There are no mm -hmm. bears in Africa. Not mm -hmm. that I know of. I know yeah. ain't no bears in Africa. There are some bears in the in the Middle East. Yep. But there are bears in the Middle East. He said, "Yep." So let's clarify that guess, one. Guess what? <laughs> and and who? And you see that? I always talk about the body language. Look how he 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 he, rub, he looked down. He rubbed his leg and he chuckled. <laughs> and I'm not making mockery. I'm just. Um, I just read those things. So let's clarify that guess, one. Guess what? 
And, and who wrote that Bible? And who wrote the Bible? Now you, nice. Nah, who wrote the Bible? And you gonna smile and look at me and look back at me. You can't take the correction. Go back and find another methodology. You got stumped. Go back, find another methodology. That don't work. The whole animal thing and the animals are not there. You don't know what was there 2,000 years ago. You don't know that. These folks transporting all kinds of stuff, man. That was elephants and all kinds of foolishness, man. Romans had all kinds of animals. Come on, man. Now, guess who wrote that Bible? See this again. We're going to get out of here. Terrify that guess, one. Guess what? <laughs> and, and who wrote that Bible? I don't know. The Europeans translated and authorized it. So okay. when you look in our Bible, today we see the word unicorn. And then he just goes right back into the animals. Come on, bro. Y'all, 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 y'all stop, man. And somebody, I love you enough to tell you. I love you enough to tell you. Ain't nobody else want to tell you. And sometimes it just be, sometimes you're too close. Sometimes you get too close to people to tell them the truth. That'd be a lot of our, pro sometimes we just, you know, that's my mind. I don't want to do no videos on them. Oh, man, yeah, nah, that's my, you know. I'm a road dog, man. But man, you know, sometimes the correction is love. We're gonna have to deal with these things because it this sounds kind of foolish, man. This sounds this is embarrassing. This is this is embarrassing to me. But um and we gotta understand that. Like, what you what are you doing, man? That you like you supposed to be doing God's work. You think God pleased with this? Like, are you doing something that's pleasing to the Lord? Like, what is what? Like, what are you trying to get out of this? And if you are doing this and you're doing God's work, man, be diligent. Be diligent, man, and and really do the research before you come out here just speculating. And doing whole documentaries on it, man. Pray the same was edifying. Y'all be blessed, you know.